Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Um, hope you all had a great day today. As always, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. I play NBA DFS full-time. Looking to help you guys in the DFS space. All these videos, they get posted on this Reddit right here. You can find my post with my username Shook right here. Oh, 40k win. Nice job, whoever that is. Um, I didn't see the username, but great job. Um, yeah, you can find my post here. I make updates with all the news that comes out throughout the day. You can ask me questions leading up to lock about the slate. I will always be here most of the time after lock as well. And then if you ever need to get a hold of me privately, you can get a hold of me on Twitter right here or X. Sorry. All right. As always, we do recap how we did the night before. So I will show you guys my lineup tonight. And then I'll show you guys my lineup from yesterday since we didn't recap that so this was yesterday we had some some massive nights in the discord yesterday um let me see if i can find them i told you guys i was a dummy and i faded chet um but my whole discord pretty much played him i got different i played brendan ingram over chet that was obviously just a, a huge huge mistake um scrolling up scrolling up scrolling up um yeah, like a couple dollars into 50, a first place bink there, um, nice win there, a little bubble there, apologies, nice, um, $300 into 2k there, um, another close to a bink here, um, another bink here on FanDuel, um, that was not someone's lineup, but great lineup there. It's been absurd. Another bink there. Another great job there. Um, it's been insane, man. It's been insane. Yesterday we had some NFL wins. Um, um, okay, that was. This was NFL yesterday. It's been wild. It's been wild. But um, yeah, like I said, I went with Chet. I went with fading Chet and fading Zubac for low owned eight and then low owned Brandon Ingram. That didn't work out. But um, yeah. Um, didn't cash yesterday, but did cash today. Uh, my core today was Scotty Pippen Jr. I wasn't worried about him coming off the bench. I kept him. And once we got John Morant out, I, I told him I'm playing Desmond Bain. He was a core player for me. So my core today was Scotty Pippen Jr., Desmond Bain, Clint Capella, and Trey Young was my core. So another phenomenal core. Told everyone I loved Kyrie Irving. He came in at low ownership. I was shocked by that. Luka Doncic had a stinker. We had. I told everyone to get to... Before I made the core update, I told everyone to get to at least one of Kyrie and Luka. Um, at least one of them are core, but then I changed that to the, the Memphis guys. But um, I still think a lot of people in my Discord played Luka, so he had a really bad game. Round up my lineup with Jordan Poole. Uh, I still don't know how to say his last name. Larry Nance, um, definitely a little bit overowned, but still played him. Kyrie Irving, who I loved. And then, yeah, um, great day today. Hopefully you guys had a good day as well. And let's just hop right into this um, four gamer here. A lot of teams on back to backs here, so we're gonna have to keep an eye out for news and stuff like that. Denver back to back, Dallas back to back, Sacramento back to back, Utah back to back, um, Golden State. We have some new Steph Curry out, Andrew Wiggins questionable. There's a lot of stuff to keep an eye on here. Um, I'm gonna assume that these guys are gonna continue to be out for Brooklyn. Um, so we're gonna go over assuming everyone's in with the back to back stuff. Early season, we could get some rest candidates tomorrow. But with that being said, um, the Nuggets just went to overtime, so I wouldn't be surprised if, like, maybe a Jamal Murray misses or something like that. But as of right now, the Nuggets are playing an extremely tight rotation. They're just playing their starters big minutes with Russell Westbrook and Julian Strother off the bench. That's basically it. I think Jokic going up against Brooklyn, good spot for him. I think he's probably one of the best Benham's on the slate. He looks great. Um, you have Sabonis right there in a good spot. Luka Doncic, good as well. But Jokic, I think, looks phenomenal. And then Jamal Murray's just playing huge minutes right now. If he if he plays tomorrow, continues to play big minutes. That's for me. Apologies. Um, continues to play big, big minutes. Um, I, I still think he's too cheap at 7.3K. He had a bit of a, a letdown game tonight, I want to say. Um, no, that was pretty really good game for his price point, actually. A decent game for his price point. So, still like Jamal. Really like Jokic. And I like MPJ and Aaron Gordon. MPJ, just his role this year is going to be so much better with no KCP. His minutes are much, much secure. He's not going to get benched as much. He He's going to continue to play close to 40 minutes, right? It just comes down to, can he hit his shots? He can grab rebounds and stuff like that. But when he has that ceiling game is when he, he really hits his shots. Brooklyn, um, fine matchup. Not the best, not the worst. 
but uh, I still think he's way too cheap. So I'm pretty high on Michael Porter Jr. here. I think Aaron Gordon's decent as well. Give me MP MPJ over him all, all day long. I think Christian Braun's a really good value of 4.4K. He's going to continue to play big minutes. So really like Brown for value. I really like MPJ. I love Jokic. I think Jamal Murray's still too cheap. Aaron Gordon's firmly in play. Julian Strother should play high teens, low 20s minutes off the bench. He's a perfectly fine punt if you need it in large field GPPs. So, yeah, I, I think Denver is perfectly reasonable for tomorrow. All right, let's go over Brooklyn. Ben Simmons going to be out for this game. We should get a starting lineup of, um, I would assume they just moved Claxton back on the starting lineup. He did not start last game. They've been starting Ben Simmons at the five. Um, they played up against the Bucks. They went with Ben, Cameron Johnson, Dorian Finney-Smith, um, Dennis Schroeder, and uh, Cam Thomas as the starters here. So I would assume just like a Claxton moves back in the starting lineup. He's been on a limit. So we'll also have to keep an eye on if he's going to stay on a limit or not. If we get news that he's not on a limit, then he's way too cheap at 6.1K. Uh, fine matchup going up against Jokic. It's not as bad as people think. So if we get news that he's not on a limit, he's full go. I would really like Claxton. Cam, Cam Thomas, their do-it-all guy, also going to play big minutes. Low four when he's not hitting shots, but when he's out there, he is going to chuck the ball. So I always have interested in him in GPPs. I think Cam Johnson's way too cheap at 5.2K. He's probably going to be somewhat popular tomorrow. I like him quite a bit for value. What else do we have? Dorian Finney-Smith is perfectly fine. You're probably going to see a bit more Noah Clowney. I think Clowney's a decent value of 3.9K. Jalen Wilson, minutes all over the place. Um, but I will mention a punt here in <clears throat> Zaire Williams, who is going to be a higher, higher usage player off the bench. I don't mind him as a punt at 3.3K as well. So, yeah, Clowney will get more run. Um, Zaire... Um, Wilson, not really sure what they're going to do with him. Dorian Finney-Smith, I think, is a solid value. Cam Johnson's too cheap. I love Dennis Schroeder at 6, 6K as well. He's still too cheap. He looks really good. Um, and then keep an eye on the uh, minutes there for Claxton. Let's go... Let's just let's just change it up a little bit. Let's go over the Pels here. Um, so we went over the first game. Now let's go over the last game. Still DeJounte Murray out. Trey Murphy out. Um, Pels, they're playing mainly Jordan Hawkins off of the bench, and that's about it. We're seeing a lot of teams run a bit tighter rotations earlier on in, in the year. Missy's getting some uh, backup five run, and that's mainly it. Um, you're going to see Alvarado and Green off the bench. So with that being said, DeJounte Murray, with, with him out, um, this team is basically what they were at last year. So like Zion, Brendan Ingram, C.D. McCollum. I wouldn't say all of them are amazing plays. I, I think, you know, Zion Williams said at eight three, he's been on a limit back to back games. If we do get news that he's gonna they're gonna uptick his minutes, then I really like him at eight point three K. I think he'd be my preferred option on the Pelicans, but no must here. Um if if he's on a limit, then I prefer Brandon Ingram. Herb Jones, I think, is priced right. I'd rather play those other guys we talked about, like Cam Johnson, etc. Jordan Hawkins getting up there in price, but the minutes seem pretty secure, and he's going to be a really, really high usage player off the bench as well. He's a guy that when he's out there, he is going to chuck the ball. So I'm still fine paying 4.9K for Jordan, Jordan Hawkins. Daniel Tice, he's been starting. Minutes haven't been great. Um, didn't get into foul trouble, but he's playable. And then I'll mention uh, Missy. Um, he's fine as well. Been getting more minutes than Daniel Tice. All right, let's go over the Warriors. Steph Curry out. Andrew Wiggins questionable. So let's go over it, assuming Andrew Wiggins is out for now. So starters should be... What, Brandon Podzemski, Trace Jackson Davis, Jonathan Kaminga, Draymond Green, and then, what, Buddy Heald? I'd assume. I don't see what else they could do. So, like, what, yeah. Pods, one. Trace, two. Buddy Heald, three. Jonathan Kaminga, four. Draymond Green, five. Um, could start like a Moody, I suppose. Um, but I think that'll probably be close to what the starters are. Either way. I think, you know, with Steph Curry out, if um, Andrew Wiggins is out as well, I think, you know, even if Andrew Wiggins plays, I think Podzemski is one of the best value plays on the slate. I absolutely love him. I think Moody at 3.6K will get a bump in minutes. He's perfectly good for value. What else do we have here? Trace Jackson Davis at 5K. Don't mind him. I think I'd rather play Podzemski, though. But he healed. He should play big minutes, no matter if he starts or comes off the bench. 5.5K, he's going to chuck when he's out there. Still like, even at that price point, still think he's fine. Um, what else? Draymond Green plays worse with Steph Curry off the court. He actually doesn't get a usage bumps, like still iffy on Draymond Green there. And then Jonathan Kaminga at 5.9K is um, a good GPP play. But you have to remember, Steve Kerr, he is going to troll, absolutely troll this rotation. He's going to go with the hot hands. In some games, he might not close with Kaminga. 
some games you might not close with other players. So you have to be a little bit careful here. Um, I wouldn't even be shocked if like a Moses Moody closed tomorrow if he's playing really well, right? Um, but the Warriors look great with Steph out. Um, and then if Andrew Wiggins out, even better. If Wiggins is in, I really like Andrew Wiggins at 5.7K. Um, would be a downgrade to like a Buddy Healed. Then they can still go multiple ways. Um, I still would love Podzemski, and then Trace would still be playable. But definitely going to have to have some interest in the Warriors tomorrow with um, um, Steph Curry out. I, I, I think, you know, Kaminga, um, Buddy Heald, Podzemski looks phenomenal. Um, and then Andrew Wiggins, if he plays, I really, really like. So definitely going to need some Warriors tomorrow, in my opinion. Sacramento is playing right now. They are on a back-to-back -back here. But the good thing with Sacramento right now is they're running their starters into the ground. I mean, look at the minute. Look at the first half minutes here. DeMar DeRozan, 20. DeMontis Spoon is 20. De'Aaron Fox, 18. Kevin Herter, 16. Keegan Murray uh, might be in foul trouble. not entirely sure, but I can show you the minutes from the game prior. They, they, they're just running their starters into the ground um, here. Um, this didn't go into overtime, right? I don't think it did. Um, let's just pull up this game. This game didn't. But look, DeMar 43, Keegan Murray 43, DeMontis Spoon is 38, De'Aaron Fox 37, um, Kevin Herter 20. He played more this game um, right here. Just massive minutes right now. Then you're going to see Malik Monk off the bench mainly. All right, let's go over. I think Sabonis looks phenomenal. Great spot going up against Utah. He's just way too cheap. I love Sabonis. One of my favorite spin-ups on the slate. I really like De'Aaron Fox as well. I think DeMar DeRozan's pretty good. Keegan Murray is fine. Malik Monk, spark off the bench. I don't mind him going to be a high usage player. Kevin Herter, I think, is a decent value. I think Sacramento looks great tomorrow. Love, love, love Sabonis. Really, really like Fox. DeMar DeRozan, like I said, decent. Keegan Murray firmly in play. He's solid. Malik Monk, Kevin Herter. I really like Sacramento tomorrow. Moving on to Utah, just keep it, like I said, keep an eye on the back-to-back -back stuff and all that. Utah, um, they, uh, I want to say, um, Markkinen had a really bad game tonight. Um, yeah, really bad, shot poorly from the field. Taylor Hendricks, he got hurt. Unfortunate stuff for him. Um, just never want to see that. Um, ever, 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 ever. Um, just really unfortunate stuff there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so painful. Um, but I, I'm going to keep mentioning it. Walker Kessler's role this year is going to be just so, so much better. I think he's going to continue to play around 30 minutes a game. He's a good point per minute guy, good shot blocker. Going up against Sacramento, I think it's fine. I, he's around a fantasy point per minute guy. So if we're going to continue to give him around 30 minutes, he's still too cheap. So I still like Kessler. I don't think anyone's going to play him tomorrow. Keontae George has a ceiling. He's fine. See, with like a Laurie Markin and not my favorite plays. Sexton, too. Clarkson. Um, they're all fine. And then like John Collins at 5'4 with no Hendricks. Going to get a bump. I think he looks good. Um, who else do they play? Um, just disgusting. This, this team's just disgusting. Um, but yeah, John Collins, mainly the one going to get a bump with no um, Hendricks. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the last game of the night. And it's Dallas and Minnesota. Dallas, once again, on a back-to-back. -back. But Luka, Luka's great. I think I slightly prefer Jokic on the slate, but Luka's always great. Same with Kyrie Irving. Still a bit too cheap at 7-7. Clay just there for me. Has the ceiling. I think he's fine. And then uh, P.D. Washington's fine. Keep an eye on Maxi Kleba news. If Kleba's out, that's going to be a, a decent bump to guys like Derek Lively and Daniel Gafford. And they would once again be decent values on this slate. So keep an eye on that for Dallas. Let's move on to Minnesota here. Looking at the Timberwolves and what they did last game, let's take a look here. Um, also, the Nuggets, uh, almost losing to the Raptors. Wild. Um, Rudy Gobert, big minutes, as I continue to suspect he'll have. Um, Anthony Edwards, big minutes. Um, McDaniels, 33. Mike Conley, 26. Dante Nas, lows 20s. Don't know if Nas got into foul trouble there. Um, he did not, but I suspect he'll continue to play high 20s minutes, which makes him a good play at 5-2. Dante firmly in play, but I prefer like Podzemski. Mike Conley at 4-4, if he plays mid-20s minutes, is too cheap, so I don't mind Mike Conley there. And then Rudy Gobert, I mean, you guys know, I always like to target Daniel Gafford, and with him playing big minutes right now, I really like Rudy Gobert as a contrarian play. Another play I'm pretty high on that I don't think a lot of people are going to be on tomorrow, and then of course, like, Ant's really good, Joyce Randall's playable, don't mind those guys. McDaniel's a fair value. So, 
yeah, I, I think that's going to do it for the slate, guys. Um, so sad. Um, but, um, yeah, um, hope you guys had a great night tonight. And as always, I will talk to you all in the next video.